something about living in a small town um, you know everybody knows everybody you wave at half the people that you pass on the road but one of the stranger things about our small town is The, the kind of food that you have. Now, I grew up in a town at the time that had no fast food restaurants. There was one restaurant, sit down type restaurant, and that's, you know, home cooking, southern stuff. Uh, but now, you know, I moved to the big town of Clanton. And I guess it's a city, a big city of Clanton. And it is just so odd, the, the amount of food places that are around here, you know. We live in a society that doesn't go home and cook every night. A lot of nights, you're just running by and grabbing something fast food. And we have, you know, all your fast food chains. Uh, I think we don't have Chick-fil-A and Crystals. Other than that, we've got pretty much everything. But one of the things that we have is just numerous ethnic food places. And we have two... Two Mexican restaurants and three Chinese. No, nope, we're down to two Chinese restaurants now. One of the Chinese restaurants closed. And it's really interesting because every day when we go to school, Barry and I see that they are working on this former Chinese restaurant that was, when I was a kid, Pizza Hut. And Pizza Hut was that place that folks went to eat but that was where people went to cruise and we didn't have anything to do in the in the county so we would come down to Clanton and you would ride around Pizza Hut leave there and go to north of town and circle some parking lot up there and then you would come back and that was the thing and we would hang out and try to hit on chicks and stuff like that but someone is remodeling um, the old Pizza Hut which is now the old China King. And I just gotta show you what it looks like. Beep that, yo. That is an awesome paint job. If they don't sell John Deere or something, they're missing the mark, man. But Barry and I have decided we believe that's gonna be another Mexican restaurant. It just, the color scheme, not that that's a Mexican thing. I don't know why we think that, but we're just feeling we're gonna have another Mexican restaurant come to town, which is okay. I'm, I'd rather have the old Chinese place back. I enjoyed it better. I really like Chinese food though. There's a lot of things I struggle with, but one of the things that's really just, it's been on my mind a lot lately, and I just met with uh, an awesome guy named Frank, and just sitting there talking with him, he was talking about a visit that he had gone and made, he and his wife had gone and made, to see, you know, some folks from our church. And I started thinking, you know, to have the, the time, to take the time, to make the time, to just stop and go visit with someone. I, I grew up in a, I mean, rural area, and there's not, it's not fast paced at all. There's not, you know, tons of things that go on, but growing up, you know, we had time, it seemed like. Uh, we, you know, I would have a ball practice a couple times a week, but we had, you know, a couple of nights during the week where we didn't really have anything major going on. And that was a good time for us to be together as a family, but it was also uh, a time when we could, you know, if we wanted to go and see someone. And we were in a generation then to where you did, you went, and you visited with people and every Sunday you know you were going to the grandparents house um, on Saturday you would go to one of the grandparents houses uh, you would end up at cousins houses friends houses and that's something that I thoroughly think I, I, I genuinely think we're missing I think we're missing out on growing relationships developing relationships building relationships because we're so busy and you know a quality time Hanging out with someone it and revolved around going to a ball game or a ball practice or you know it's got to be sitting down spending one-on-one -on -one time with people and I'm just trying to find time to do that 
I think that's one of the problems in society is our idea of spending time with somebody is shooting them a text message. Um, what would our lives be like if we just paused to spend time with someone? Not that I can help anyone, but I miss that fellowship time. You know, as a kid, as a teenager, that was one of the things that you wanted to do. You wanted to be where your friends were. And then you get into your adult life and it doesn't change. You still want that, but it's not what it once was. Because even at the most chaotic party that you'd go to as a teenager, you were still having one-on-one -on -one conversations with people. You were developing relationships even though you didn't know that's what it was. Finding time, gotta find time. Just spend some time with uh, a very good friend of mine. Um, man, I've looked up to for years. He and his wife, uh, Sean and Mar Marchetta. Um, Sean's mother that was the one that was in the accident the other day and was struck by a car and uh, he's down from Portland, Tennessee for his mother's funeral to be with his family and his wife Marchetta's here and it just it took me back to my thoughts that I had this morning with Frank you know what does it take to just stop whatever's making your life so crazy and spend time with people and unfortunately a lot of times the only time we spend time with people is when they've lost someone and that's sad you know we joke about it I've got cousins that I used to spend time with all the time and and our comments as we are leaving each other is like well I'll see you at the next funeral and that's really gotten to be about the truth we just our lives are so busy and we run in different circles but intentionally making time to be with the people that you love there's got to be a way I think that would be part of the perfect church just being with people living life with people that's that's what it's about the day has come to an end and I realized that I hadn't shot much video with my family um, Barrett's already in bed and the wife he's going to get a, a bath so uh, just had a lot going on in my head today and just being with people spending time with people so important spend time with your family and spend time with others and love God, love people, and be better.